the same great team and service that you've always known, Ace Hardware Home Services. Serving Hickory in the Catawba Valley area since 1990. Good evening, this is the WHKY News for Wednesday, November 6th. I'm Ralph Mangum. The WHKY News is on over-the-air TV every weekday on channel 14.2. You can also find us on the Compass, SkyBest, Vibrant, TDS, and Comporium cable systems. The WHKY News is also online at whky.com and on our YouTube channel. In today's top stories, with a recap of last night's Hickory City Council meeting, here now is WHKY's Ariana Mack. Hickory City Council met in regular session Tuesday, November 5th. Minutes, second readings, and the consent agenda were all unanimously approved. A public hearing was held for the voluntary non-contagious annexation of 29.5 acres of the intersection of Sandy Ford Road and Robinson Road. The item was approved by council. A public hearing was held for a rezoning position for a rezoning petition for property located at the corner of Sandy Ford Road and Robinson Road from Catawba County R20 to medium density residential R2. This item was also approved by council. A public hearing was also held for a rezoning petition for property located at the corner of 9th Street Northeast and 9th Avenue Place Northeast from, from industrial to high density residential R4. This item was approved by council. Mayor Hank Guest presented an update on the Hickory Public Housing Authority. City Council approved delaying the final vote on the Hickory Public Housing Authority to the December 3rd meeting. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. At about 11.20 this morning, the North Carolina State Highway Patrol responded to a fatal collision in Lincoln County on Salem Church Road near Salem Avenue. The deceased is 31-year-old Dominique Devon Morrison of Lincolnton. A 2012 Hyundai Sonata driven by Mr. Morrison was northbound on Salem Church Road when the vehicle ran off the right side of the road, re-entered the roadway, ran off the left side of the road, struck a fence, and collided with a tree. Mr. Morrison passed away at the scene. He was not wearing a seatbelt and was ejected from the vehicle. The initial investigation indicates excessive speed to be the contributing circumstance in the collision. During the on-scene investigation, Salem Church Road was closed in the area for approximately two hours. Certainly our condolences to Mr. Morrison's family and loved ones. A bid has been approved for a multi-million dollar water tank project in the Hickory Metro. WHKY's Rob Eastwood has the details. The water system is requiring additional water pressure and that resulted in the action earlier this week. At Monday's meeting, the Alexander County Board of Commissioners approved a bid for the Bethlehem Water Tank Project. The board awarded the project to Lock Lane Construction of Stony Point, which had submitted the low bid of $4,758,200. Alexander County Attorney Ben Falkenberry presented information about the project. The total project cost is $6,813,600, which includes a 750,000 gallon elevated water tank, 1,110 linear feet of water lines, a future pump station, planning and design and engineering. The majority of the project will be funded by state grants totaling $4,648,248. A hydraulic study was performed on the Bethlehem water system in 2021, which showed that the system required additional water pressure, a problem that could be solved by installing an elevated water tank. Board of Commissioners Chairman Josh Lale said, quote, the Bethlehem water tank project is a significant step forward for our county's water infrastructure, this project will not only improve water pressure and flow for residents and businesses in the Bethlehem area, but also enhance our overall water system's reliability and capacity as we plan for future needs." End quote. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. Today's crime report includes two firearms arrests and four drug arrests. In local sports, high school soccer and one high school football score, Caldwell Community College basketball and App State field hockey. 
In Community Focus, Sarah has our weekly update from the City of Hickory with information on leaf collection, the latest from HPD, and several holiday events. Ariana has the A&E Bulletin Board with the latest from the Hickory Community Theater, the Western Piedmont Symphony, Lenore Rhine Theater, and the Green Room. Partly cloudy and in the mid-70s today with only a 15% chance of a shower, about a 20% chance of rain tomorrow, and less than a 10% chance on Friday, with highs both days reaching the upper 70s. Cooler over the weekend with very little chance of rain Saturday, but then we'll have a 45% chance of rain Sunday with a high only around 60. A little warmer Monday and Tuesday, but then back into the 60s after that. Look for an up-to-date forecast at WHKY.com anytime you need it. I'm Ralph Mangum, and you are watching the WHKY News.